Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna paint the tiny mouse wake bait and we're gonna apply a technique that is called erasing and we're starting right now. Right guys, I got my tiny little wake bait here and as you can see that's a really small wake bait, it's a tiny little mouse. It's really cute and we're gonna paint a quite realistic fur texture on there. So to start with I have some wicked white in my chamber and I'm going to add a little bit of 4050 and that is just to make it adhere better because it's very important that this paint is really stuck to the bait. And I also added some 4011 in there to reduce it because 4050 is quite thick and really difficult to airbrush. And then we just start with a white base coat. Alright, now for our next step, we're gonna spray 4050 on there. Now you can spray any kind of gloss clear coat on there or even a matte clear coat, it doesn't really matter. As long as we seal that white. Because we want that white to be covered, protected for what we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna give this a good coat of 4050 now to protect that white. Now I'm gonna use Wicked Detail Sepia because this is a nice brown transparent color. If you wanna paint a gray mouse that is also possible but make sure that your gray is as transparent as possible because that's key to get a really nice effect. So only a few drops of Wicked Detail Sepia and we're gonna reduce this with about 50% and we're not gonna add any 4030 or 4050 because we want this paint to not adhere as well as other as paints with 40, 30 or 50 because if it adheres to this then we cannot apply our erasing technique anymore and I'll show you guys what I mean and now there are many tools you can use for this technique I'm gonna use either this little tool you can buy on lure blanks it's a part of a set and you got this round shaped balls on there at the end of uh, every point now this is a very tiny ball which is great to create soft hair lines because we're gonna draw lines on there another thing you can use is a precision knife it's a really sharp point and you have to be really careful when using this but you can create really sharp very fine detailed lines with this it's very useful another thing you can use is a regular toothpick but even a regular needle for sewing would work. Basically anything that has a sharp pointy edge you can use to do this erasing technique. But these tools make it easier, they give you more control and the results will be better. Alright, so what we want to do is we're going to lightly spray some brown on there. Not too much. And then we're going to scrape over it with our tool. And don't wait for the paint to dry. Because if the paint is dry, it's gonna be more difficult. You can see the paint is already dry here. And it then becomes more difficult. Then I have to take my blade out. Of course with the knife there is a chance you scrape away the white paint as well. And that's the difficult part in this. Now I got some wicked black in my chamber and I'm just gonna put some darker spots on the back 
randomly and erase them again as well to get some hair texture in there. I'm also gonna darken up that nose and the eyes a little bit. Alright, so I mixed some pink here, which is just red with white. And we're gonna paint our little feet. And I will also apply a little bit of pink on the underside of the nose, but with an almost dry brush. So it stays subtle. And to tone down a little bit of that pink, I'm also going to use a little bit of a red with an almost dry brush. And now for the inside of the ears, we're also going to use a little bit of pink. Now we're again going to take a little darker red. And tone down a little bit of that pink. And just for fun, I took some opaque black and I'm also going to paint some whiskers on there. And as a finishing touch, I will be painting the eyes entirely black. Alright, time to put the eyes on. Now ready for clear coat. Alright guys, our lure is finished and as you can see the hairs are very nice and detailed. I like the color of the, of the feet a lot too and the ears. It's really nice. And I actually had the opportunity to go try and fish it last weekend. And I can tell you it is pike approved. As always, you will find a link in the description below to the materials that I used for this lure. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.